What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so there was a little something decided going into that little, you know, capturing off screen, and that is that I'm going to hold off on Ralts after we win our first badge because I realized something. Yeah, there's going to be... Well, there's going to be something, a little something, something that we're going to need in order to, like, not prolong the training of Ralts, if you guys know what I'm uh, get where I'm getting at. So, off screen, we got ourselves a pretty rare Lotad right here. Already at level 12. Yes, you can find Pokemon at extremely high levels. It does have the Rain Dish ability, which it gradually regains HP in the rain. And as you guys can see, its rare move happens to be Razor Leaf. So, right now, we're already like, oh, crud, we, we're, we're going to win. We're going to be kicking some butt right here, and it does have some pretty good stats. So, I'm just... I'm gonna let this one. I'm gonna let this one slide right here, and well, we got ourselves another zigzagoon, and we're gonna get a another repel right here. So, what's going to happen is we're gonna be going making our way to Rustboro City, and we're gonna be capturing a boatload of Pokemon along the way, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be beating everybody while we're at it. And well, look at this. It would seem that we got our Pokemon in our in our uh, well and. Well, we got a Pokemon in our sights right here, and it's a level 5 Talo. Many of you guys would want me to capture this, so that's what we're going to be doing. Let's see what we can find right here. So here it is, a level 5 Talo, and, uh, well, it's a proper level right here, so let's go right ahead and go with a Scratch Attack. So let's go, Scratch Attack does its trick, and Talo doing this. And, you know, I kind of want to weaken it one more time, so let's go with the Scratch Death, see if that actually works, and no. Oh my god. Never mind. Okay, so, it is what it is. Got to, found ourselves a Taylor and all that stuff, and well, actually, we're not going to do that. So let's go right ahead and start battling some trainers right here. Ah, the sea. I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. And, well, I think we already know. It's just it's pretty... We will eventually have to find out. So, here we go, taking on Youngster Billy. And he is going to be coming out with a C-Dot. Now, at the beginning of this whole... At the beginning of this whole adventure right here, I realized that, you know, it's much better if we just got the experience share all... Or the spe experience all first before we got to Ralts because, well, you know... It'd be much easier for us to train Pokemon to get more experience and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and get uh, get a little bit more battles going right here with Talo. So let's go again. Ember attack for the win. And that nearly defeats Talo right here. So here comes a peck attack. Not going to work yet. And going straight for that scratch attack. So here we go. Scratch attack for the win. And Talo has been defeated. So, yes. We're going to be growing some levels right here. Yes, Tommy JDF. Kicking some butt, taking some names. And Billy not liking himself right now. Mm-mm. Okay. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and move on. Obviously, off screen, I will be capturing some Pokemon right here. And, well, it looks like right here we're going we're gonna to be finding a Zigzagoon. And I'm going to take a look at what we got. So as you guys can see, this Zigzagoon already has a held item, which is Potion. Its potential is a one star, level two, and it has a it has the first move pursued. That is considered a rare move. We're gonna hold off on that for a little bit. I'm actually happy with the Zigzagoon I got right now, mainly because it has the pickup ability. Definitely want that. And well, I am not going to be planting more berries, so why be trigger happy and all that stuff? So let's go right again with this. And there we go, Orenberry for the win right there. And well, let's see. Well, we got a rich boy right here, so let's go right ahead and start battling this guy. He's like, oh sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Now he, he's very, very good for getting some money now. Here we go, rich boy Winston, coming out with his zigzagoon. Let's see. Let's see what he's all about right here. So Tommy JDF, let's go. Kicks a butt right here. Let's go. Amber attack for the win. And, well, Zigzagoon not living it. So let's go right ahead with a Tail Whip. That's gonna, it's kind of gonna affect us. So let's go again. Amber attack. And just like that, Zigzagoon has been defeated. 
And, well, we get some more points right there. And because we defeated a rich boy, he's going to be giving us... He's going to be giving us a quite a, quite a bit of money right there. It's pretty cool. Okay, so let us go straight into the Petalburg Woods. This place is home to quite a few Pokemon that we love. Quite a few Pokemon that you guys would want me to just, like, capture and all that stuff. Because, you know, it is what it is. So, here we have another Wurple wanting to battle us and all that stuff. Yeah, definitely not going to take on this Pokemon right here. So, there it is. Run. Run away, little birdie. And, uh, well, let's see. Here we have this guy right here. And he, what does he have to say? Sometimes there are things that you uh, that are on the ground that you can't even see. That's why I check the, where I'm walking. And it looks like, to me, we got a Pokemon. And this is a new Pokemon. Might as well just capture it because, well, you know, it's a it's a it's a brand new Pokemon. Alrighty, so let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a shiny! Oh my god, a shiny Silcoon. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this is a first. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, I gotta check how many Pokeballs I have. I have six in total. Okay. We can't screw this up. We cannot screw this up. A shiny Silcoon. Holy buckets. We're going to go with a level 2 Zigzagoon right here. Oh my god. You cannot make this up, guys. I do not have any cheats going or anything. Yes, go ahead. Harden. I am going to capture you. Oh my god. A shiny Silcoon. Oh, crap baskets. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it. Let's see what happens. A shiny Silcoon, guys. You cannot make this up. Holy crap baskets. One. Oh no, okay. Oh my god. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous right now. Oh crud. Okay, so let's see. Trick. What does this do? Here comes a hard end. So this Pokemon's maxing out his defenses. You know, I could go with Zigzag Goo, or I could go with, uh. Yeah, I could go with Torchic right now and hit it with the. Oh crap, back it. Okay. Let's go with uh, Tommy JDF. This Silcoon has uh, gotten its uh, its defenses up, so physical attacks is the norm right here. Oh my God! It's a shiny Silcoon, guys! Oh my God! A shiny Silcoon. Oh, thank you, Arceus. So here we go. Scratch attack. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay, so max out your defenses, homeboy. I want to capture you. We're going to go with physical attacks. We're not going to hit it with an ember. Okay, and, well, its defense has gone up all the way, and we just hope to God this Pokemon does not critical hit this Pokemon. So there's another. Come on, baby. Here we go. And, you know, I'm going to leave it like that because, yeah, I, I don't trust myself. The Pokemon gods do not love me. All right, come on, baby. Throw in this Pokeball. I want this shiny Pokemon. Holy buckets. There's one. There's two. Throwing out that peace sign. I have thrown... No! <laughs> I got a little cocky. Okay. All right. Okay, we still got Pokeballs. Come on, baby Jesus. Come on! We have got to capture this guy. And you can't save the state of this whole thing right here. God dang. Oh, my God. Yes! We got him! Oh, oh my god! So, for the first time, guys, on screen, we got ourselves a shiny Pokemon. You cannot make this up. Oh my god! Okay, so here it is, guys. Silcoon, shiny version. So, Silcoon was thought to endure hunger and not consume anything before evolution. However, it is now thought that this Pokemon slakes its thirst by drinking rainwater that collects in its silk. Oh my god, yes. Okay, so Silcoon. I'm assuming this Pokemon evolves into Beautifly. We gotta nickname this Pokemon because you cannot make this up. Okay, oh my god. Let's go ahead and nickname this Pokemon. Let's see. Let's see, what, what, what kind of a nickname should we give a shiny Silcoon? Oh my god. You know what? Give me just a sec, guys. I'll be right back with you to show you everything. Oh my god. We caught ourselves a shiny... Oh my god. Okay. 
So, we named it Sexy Fly. Now, the E is with the slash because I completely forgot that right here in Generation, I would like to say six. But if you try to nickname your Pokemon on a cuss word or something like that, or anything related with sex, it's uh, it's gonna deny it. So, we had to go with the slash. So, it's sex save or sec, or I can't even say it. Like, okay, let's see, ole. So, it's sex fly. Oh, I can't even pronounce it. But here it is, guys Sexy Fly. That's right, because it's gonna be shiny. That's right. Eventually, it will evolve into something sexy. That's right. I cannot believe we captured this Pokemon, okay? So, check this out, guys. Check it out. Now, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save this game because, well, you know, we need this. So, the last time I ever got any kind of shiny Pokemon at a random was when I was breeding a Meryl. A Meryl to an Azuril, okay? Check that out. To an Azuro. Now, the funny thing is, I didn't know exactly how to breed it. You, I didn't know that you actually needed a like you know an extra item to actually get this Pokemon to devolve into an Azuro and all that stuff. So, you know, I got myself a Meryl. When that Pokemon hatched, holy buckets, I got myself a golden Meryl. Cannot make this up. I am hoping that I can find this Pokemon in my my bank. Yes, I still have bank, and you know, depending on when this video comes out, I, I'm assuming that you can't get anything else on the, on the what was it called, uh, on the, on the what was it, Nintendo Shop or anything. But yes, I do have a shiny Meryl that is now an Azumarill. If I don't have it in my 3DS, I'm probably gonna have it on my Nintendo Switch because I actually sent most of my Pokemon there. But you cannot make this up. Holy crud. I am going to keep this Pokemon on my team because holy buckets. That's a... <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe I got myself a shiny Pokemon. Yes. Oh. Yes. The Lort is good. The Lort Arceus is good. Oh my god. Okay. So, yes. That's right, guys. I'm kicking ass. Taking names. That's right. Okay. We've, uh, we're off to a good start. And, you know what? Let's go right ahead and see what other Pokemon we can actually find right here. And it's not right there, yes. Y we're going to be seeing a lot of captures. Let's see what kind of Pokemon we're going to look for. And... Yeah, you can find that anywhere. I kind of want a Talo with a pretty good move and all that stuff. One time I actually got a Pokemon... A Talo with... Uh, I kind of want to say Sonic Boom. Or it was a Boom Attack. Blast Boom, yes. And that move actually... It's actually one of the more powerful moves out there. So, here we are taking on a, another bug catcher. Yes, I am feeling lucky. And you know what? This is great, guys. This is a good sign right here. So, let's see. Another Pokemon. Another shiny Pokemon that I've caught. No cheats, whatever. Was in my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Oh, no, 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 no. In my Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. And I happened to capture myself a shiny Mankey, called it Prime or uh, Pick Hammer X, because yes, it is a pretty cool looking Pokemon and all that stuff. So here we are. There it is. Look at that. Tommy JDF, level 30, uh, 13. And <coughs> had to sneeze, had to sneeze. All right, let's go right ahead and continue on our battle right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead, do this Ember attack. And, well, there you go. Wurmple defeated. Okay. Alrighty. So, yes. I have all these Pokemon, but I couldn't win. No, you couldn't. Okay. So, let us continue on our adventure. And, wait, we have a Pokemon in encounter. And that sounded like a different Pokemon. What could this be? Look at that, guys. We found ourselves a Slack Off. I think that's what it's called. Let's go right ahead and see. Yes, this episode is going to be filled with a bunch of captures. Look at this, a slack off. So, a lot of you guys wanted me to capture a slack off. I'm probably going to be doing it. Just uh, let, Let's go ahead and see. Okay, so there we go. And there's a scratch attack. And many of you guys have told me that slack off, just the Pokemon itself, has incredible strength, which I do believe. It, it, it is attributed to... What was it, Darmanitan over in Pokemon uh, Black and White? 
It's attributed to Ursa Ring and Teddy Ursa in Pokemon uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Yes, these are some Pokemon that you can actually, you know, with incredible strength. And, well, the only thing that I don't like about Slackoth is that, you know, it has its truant ability. Don't like that. As you guys can see, this is Slackoth, the Slacker Pokemon. Slackoth's, uh, Slackoth's heart beats just once a minute. Whatever happens, it is content to loaf around motionless. It is rare to see this Pokemon in motion. Yeah, we're not going to nickname this Pokemon because uh, we're going to try and capture a much a, a rare Pokemon of this. So let's continue on right here. Yes, I'm having fun capturing all these Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Here we have another Wurmple. I'm kind of like wanting to test my luck to see if I can if I can find another another shiny Pokemon. But holy crud, we, we found ourselves a shiny Pokemon, guys. I'm proud about that. And here we have a Paralysis Heal. Which will help us in, you know, our adventure, you know, because I am the god of paralysis. And, well, there's going to be somebody right there. What I want to do is I'm going to switch out to our good old buddy Ole. He needs a little bit of belling. We're going to be using some different Pokemon going into the first gym. Ole happens to be the perfect Pokemon for this. Hmm, not one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. Me too. I love that Pokemon, but I kind of feel bad that I can't use it here. And would you look at that. I was going to ambush you, but you had to dawdle into the Petalwood Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so I'm here. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Oh, wow. And, uh, of course, hey, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please. Hmm. What do you think you're doing? What, you're going to protect them? No one crosses Team Monk and gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Okay, alrighty. So, here it is, guys. We're going to be battling our first Team Monk member. And, well, look at this. He's looking pretty uh, Team monk -y. And what's going to happen is, bam, he's going to be coming out with his little uh, Poochiana. So, here we have Ole. Level 12. Has Razor Leaf. Has some pretty good moves already at level 12. And look at this. Razor Leaf, kick some butt, take some names, and here comes a Howl attack. Mm-hmm. You ain't getting nothing from me. No, sir. Let's go straight for a Bubbly attack. Shout out to Michael Bubbly. And there we go. Poochiana defeated. Feel great. I feel fantastic with that. And there we go. Team Uncle Grunt has been defeated. He's like, yes, you're crazy. You're crazy strong. Mm-hmm. Grr, you've got some nerve to meddling in Team Uncle's affairs. Come, in, come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And, hey, we of Team Aqua are also uh, after something at Rustboro. I'll let you know, go for today. Okay. Alrighty, so that right there is that. And, well, the guy's going to be like, whew, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know. I'll give you uh, this as my thanks. And we get ourselves the experience share. This right here is the key to getting all your Pokemon all nice and leveled up. So the experience share is a super high-tech device. I had to strain every fiber of my brain and body to develop this device. Turn the switch on and the battle experience will be shared by all party Pokemon. Please try it and uh, with this, I'll restore your Pokemon's health. It's another technical or advance and I'm proud of. Okay, so we got that. And, well, ah! Didn't that Team Aqua Thug say that they were after something in a uh, Rustboro too? Uh oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting any time. Oh, alrighty. So there. Okay, so the experience share is a lot different here in Generation Six and moving on forward. Okay, so now it's a key item. You don't have to put it on a specific Pokemon you want to actually train. Turning on this special device will allow all Pokemon on your team to receive experience points from battle. This makes it super easy for all your Pokemon to just level up and just, you know, evolve and all that stuff. This was highly criticized from a lot of the fans out there because it made the X and Y series, including the, the Oras series, a little bit easier for, for Pokemon trainers to actually, you know, beat it all. You know, make it look easy and all that crud. I'm gonna keep on doing this. I'm gonna keep it on because, well, you know, I like, uh, I like, I like to have my teams powerful, and you know, good old Draven. Uh, yeah, he does. He doesn't really have a, he doesn't really have a lot of time. So yes, he needs the experience share on so he can train some specific Pokemon. 
So, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Hopefully we'll find another shiny Pokemon. I don't know. We will find out. Now, Pokemon such as Zigzag Goon, Sexy Fly, they will eventually gain experience points without even battling. We're going to be evolving Pokemon quickly, guys. And, well, look at this. We're looking at a Shroomish. Oh, my lord. Shroomish right here is a Pokemon that I love. I really, really love. But for right now, we're going to use an Ember Attack because, well, shoot. Yeah, we kind of don't need it. But, you know, off screen, I will be capturing it, you know, training it up and all that stuff. All right, let's move. Let's go right ahead. And hold on just a sec. Huh. You don't say. It's Slackoth. Okay, same level. I'm not going to really do anything. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. While we're at it, let's go right ahead and put the charger on it because, well, my battery is uh, low and I don't want you guys losing anything right here. So, there it is. Let's battle. Okay, so here we are taking on a bug trainer. And we're going to be using the same old Pokemon, Torchic, ready to go. And, well, let's go with an Ember attack. Ninkata right here. Is already, as many of you guys would already know, it is a bug type Pokemon, but it does have a special way of evolving. And, yes, we will be showing that here, too. And look at this. Zigzagoon grows to level 5. And... Well, that that right there is right there. Okay, so just in case anything happens, I am going to save this game because, you know, fate has a way of screwing with me. So let's go right ahead and move on. Grab this. And here we found ourselves an ether. That right there will, you know, help us out with our Pokemon's PP. And, well, there is another Pokemon right here. Where can I find it? It's a normal type Pokemon, so that happens to be a Slackoth. And it's still a level 5 slack off. So, the thing that I've learned... Oh, wow. Okay, so here's another Silcoon. So, the thing that I've learned the most when it comes to this game, Pokemon Oras series, is that, you know, the Dex Nav right here makes it, makes it easier for you to find Pokemon that you can actually, like, you know, that you probably need on your team. You know, Pokemon that are better. And... <laughs> I'm not settling. I do not want to settle. And after getting out of the Petalburg Woods, this happens. This is the Petalburg Re This is Petalburg Wrecking Team checking in. I'm afraid I have to begin with an apology, Mr. Matt. It's not good news. The mission is a no-go. A little something cropped up and got in the way. Roger that. Got it. Will do. I'll continue investigating the the that energy we detect detected. And just looking at this girl right here, she's like dot dot dot. Whew. But that but that kid sure had some promise as a trainer, I'd say. Hmm. Okay, so here we are. We're out of the Petal War Woods, and we are gonna be talking to this kid right here. Yes, yeah, so you you guys thought that we were gonna be done, but no. If you talk to this guy, he will be giving you the TM49 echoed voice. This is a pretty good move when it comes to, you know, kind of sound types, uh, sound abilities and whatnot. And, well, we're going to be grabbing ourselves some berries, because, well, we need berries. And, well, let's see. Let's grab this right here, too. Yes, okay. We got two cherry berries. And let's grab these little suckers here, too. And we got ourselves some orange berries just for that. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what's in the backside right here. As many of you guys already know, you can find yourself some items, such as a Pokeball. I believe there's a Repel somewhere around here. And there we go. A Super Potion. This is not bad. And, well, let's go right here. That's nothing. But we're going to be finding some Pokemon. Some very awesome Pokemon, and well, we're gonna be finding the Zigzagoon if we find ourselves, if we find ourselves another shiny Pokemon, I will be amazed. But in the meantime, let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay, so let's see. Grab this item right here. Here we found ourselves an X Attack. That right there is a pretty good nifty move or item. So you for battle and all that stuff and well I think that's pretty much it so huh you don't say there is a Pokemon that it needs our attention where is it oh it's over there chances are we might not be able to get it because well 
look how much grass there is. And it's a level 5 wing goal, so we don't really need it right now. And, well, let's go right inside this little shop right here. Okay. So if you go into this shop, talk to this person. Hello! This is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop, spreading flowers throughout the world. Your name is... Draven! That's a nice name. Draven, would you like to learn about berries? Sure, why not? Berries grow on a tree that drive only on soft soil. If you take some berries, be sure to plant one in soft soil. A planted berry will soon sprout, grow into a plant, flower beautifully, and then grow berries again. I want to see the whole wide world filled with beautiful flowers. That's my dream. Please help me, Draven. Plant berries and bring more flowers into the world. Okay, just when I thought I was going to get something, but yeah... This girl right here is going to tell you about the the area now where you can actually find berries around this whole region. And, well, let's see. She's going to be giving us a cherry berry. And there we go. Cherry berry away. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. She is going to give us a Wilmer pail, which, of course, will actually help us water some, uh, some flowers and all that stuff. So, let's get the heck out of here. And... The next thing on the list is we're going to be going straight towards uh, Rustboro City. We're going to be battling a few trainers like Homegirl right here. She's like, we must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? This is another rich person. She will actually give us a lot more money when, you know, we, 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 we beat them. So let's go right ahead. And, well, let's go with the Pokemon that we got. Let's, you know, let's go ahead and use Dummy JDF right here. Ember attack for the win. And oh wow, Zigzagoon it kept it he kept it clean right there. So there we go. We're being lowered in a you know in a in attack. And well here we go again. Ember attack for the win. And just like that, Zigzagoon has been defeated. Let's see, yes, we're getting some more points, and yes, we grow to level 14. And well, our buddy's learning Pack Attack, so this is going to be a useful move. So let's go right ahead and switch it out for Scratch. And, well, there we go. We learned Peck Attack. And, well, Slackoth is growing to level 5 and is learning Encore and everything else. Yeah, she gives us 1,200 Poke Dollars right there. So let's move on right here. There's going to be another trainer. You know what? We're going to keep on going with Tommy because most of these trainers have... Quite a few grass type Pokemon and all that. Alrighty. So here we go. Last Haley wants the battle. Coming out with her low tad. And the good thing is that we Well, we learned Peck Attack, so here we go. Let's go straight for a Peck Attack, making it easier for us to go against uh, Low Tad right here. Look at this. Easy. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, so what's next? Oh yeah, Zigzagoon grows to level 6. Sexy fly. Level 7. And here comes a Shroomish, but we're going to continue on right here. Now be aware that Shroomish does have the spec, uh, the Spore effect. Or Spec Spore? Or what, what was it? The Effect Spore, I think that's what it was called. So if you physically hit this Pokemon, there might be something happening to you. Like maybe Paralysis, Sleep. Hell, Poison. Depending. And well, Olay grows to level 13. And there we go. Okay, so that was that against uh, our good old friend right here. So let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go with uh, a little switch right here. And it looks like to me Zigzagoon's grabbed himself an item. So let's go ahead and take the item. And we found ourselves a great ball. This is helpful right here. And here we have some twins. We're twins, so we battle Pokemon together too. All right, you're going to battle our Pokemon. Hmm. Okay. Let's go right ahead, and here we have uh, twins Gina and Mia coming out with both Lotad and C Dot. So let's go, Tommy JDF and Ole, ready to go. And well, let's go straight for a flame attack right here, an Ember attack, and well, natural gift. I don't know what that what that move does, but I'm just gonna go with it. And there we go, for the win, C Dot defeated. Okay, alrighty. And then everybody else gaining points. Here comes a natural gift. Does not work, but here comes the bubble attack. Hitting us both. That is, uh, yeah, that's going to hurt just a little bit. So let's go ahead, peck attack this low tad, and you know what? Let's go with a bubble attack. 
So here we go, peg attack. Four, oh, nearly wins. Holy crud, Liz Lotad has a... Yeah, it doesn't want to go, and yeah, it really doesn't want to go. So here comes an absorb attack. And, well... <laughs> We got our energies drained right here, so let's go straight for a peck attack and finish it off. Another with a bubbly attack, so here we go. And just like that, Lotad has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. And Zigzag Goon grows to level 7 without doing anything. Learning moves as it goes, and Slack Off as well. See you guys, I'm actually, you know, using Slack Off. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. We got a few people. Like, first is first. Let's go right ahead and grab this item. So, we're officially in Rustboro City. What we're going to do is grab this little item, the X Defense. And that right there will be useful for a battle later on. And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be talking to two different people. This lady right here. She will actually give you another berry. So there it is, a Chesto berry. That can be used to wake up your Pokemon. And, well, let's go right ahead and grab these items. And there you go. Chesto berry, Orin berry, away. Here we have another Orin berry. And there we go again. And let's finish it off right here with uh, cherry berries. And just like that, the cherry berries have been... Pulled. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here with Olay. And let's see what this guy's all about. Well, I keep it a secret. I'm a water Pokemon expert. Huh? You don't know me? No, not really. Don't really know you. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Fisherman Ivan. Coming out with his Magikarp. So this should be this should be an easy battle right here, I guess. I don't know. So here we go. Ole, ready to go, and well, let's see, Absorb Attack would work. Well, as many of you guys already know, Magikarp going to be a little faster than us, so here it is. Absorb gives us all his HP. Ole, healed up as always. Okay, and let's see, Sexy Fly growing to level 8. So let's continue. We're going to use Ole as long as we can. And let's go straight for a Razor Leaf attack right here. While we go for another splash. So here we go. Razor Leaf for the win. And there you go. Oh my god. Okay, so we're close. We are very, very close right here. So let's go right ahead and continue on. Here comes another Magic Carp. And we're going to be going straight for a Razor Leaf attack for the win. And... There you go. No more Magikarps. Okay, so, and they, look at this. Olay grows to level 14. That's pretty good. And JDF grows to level 15. So, we are doing pretty good right here. Okay. But wait. That's right, guys. Olay is evolving. So, after maybe a, an episode and a half, Olay didn't really need that much training. You know, we did capture it at level 12, and, well, look at this. It's finally evolving into a much better Pokemon. That is our good old buddy, Lombre. Olay! Yes, this Pokemon has just become a little bit stronger. Let's go ahead and take out our newest Pokemon, Lombre. You know, both a grass and water type Pokemon, and probably the, the Pokemon that will actually help us win in this next gym battle. So, as you guys can see... It's, that's, yeah, pretty even. It's a very, very special defensive Pokemon. Rain Dish, like, I was actually debating between the Rain Dish and the Swift, uh, Swift Swim ability because one actually heals up the Pokemon during rain, the other one makes it faster. So, yeah, that's that, that, that right there was kind of like a hard, hard thing right there. So, let us continue. Here we are, guys. Rustboro City, and, uh, well, as we're coming over here, well, hello, hello. I thought I'd see you again. So you made it to Rustboro, too, Draven? Hmm, look at that. Oh, my God, this is a nice town right here. It's really big here, isn't it? Little Rue can't even compare. That, that, that really is true, and, well, look at this. Oh, and Draven, have you heard? There's a Pokemon Gym here, too. There is. Once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll make sure to take it on with my own team. See you later! 
Or whatever you say. Okay, so... I guess we've already, uh... We've got to rust, bro. Everything is good to go. We're gonna make a pause right here, guys, because in the next episode, we're gonna be taking a tour of Rustboro and finishing it off with our first gym battle, so... I hope you guys are ready. I, again, still can't believe we got ourselves a shiny freaking Pokemon. Look at this guy! It's a shiny Pokemon, and I didn't cheat. So, there you go. And suck it to all my haters. Anywho... Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for, you know, being patient as always. And, yeah. I will see you guys in the next episode as we play our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.